You know what this movie should be called? It should be called Drone the Movie. Am I right? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Movie Important's movie review of Ambulance, the newest film from director Michael Bay. Now, before we begin, if you like this video, awesome. Hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Ambulance is, of course, about a bank robbery gone wrong. It, of course, is about, you know, this character named Danny, who's played by, of course, Jake Gyllenhaal. He recruits his brother, Will, who's played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, and they decide they're going to rob a bank, or at least they're going to try to rob a bank. Because bank robberies are very difficult, they do not succeed, things are going very, very wrong, and they find themselves not only shooting a police officer, but basically having to steal a ambulance that's run by a paramedic, by the, who's played by, of course, Isaac Gonzalez. And as this movie plays out, it becomes basically one big police chase, one big car chase sequence for about two hours and then we get to our conclusion eventually. And then, of course, in the process, they're trying to escape. And so with that said, I'm a very hit or miss person when it comes to Michael Bay films. I like some of his films, but I dislike a lot of his films just on the simple fact of the story and the aspects. I think he can get a little too bombastic in his direction and his style. I think, you know, you look at the Transformers films or 13 Underground or 6 Underground, whatever the film's called, and just see kind of just the overarching just how... If you give a guy too much money, he can kind of just put everything into really wrong perspectives in a lot of aspects. So going into this film, I was not really looking forward to it. But what's also interesting is the the thing about Michael Bay movies is when he does original stuff like Pain and Gain or The Rock or, you know, any of those types of movies that aren't Transformers, he can actually deliver a pretty interesting film, to be fairly honest. So even though I wasn't really looking forward to Am Ambulance, I still had, you know, a hope that it would be a pretty decent film because it's an original film. And I also do have to say I did get to go to uh, like a red carpet premiere for this movie. So Michael Bay and Eliza Isaac Gonzalez, Yayo Abdul-Mateen II showed up up and you know it gives you a different perspective on these individuals when they show up and so after watching this movie you know getting into my veins as michael michael bay movies do i can honestly and truthfully say i actually really enjoyed this movie i think it's a lot of fun it's very high octane it's very action oriented it has a lot of car chase sequences which are actually somewhat well put together but it's a movie with a lot of plot problems it's very very long it's way longer than it needs to be and still deals with those michael bay problems where he goes into excess and over zealousness and boom 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 here cars go here car go, cars go there if you watch my review or you watch the open you know the beginning portion there's a lot of points in this movie where he's using drones to the extent of like overness i guess you could say you know the drones are a cool kind of effect if you use it every once in a while but he uses it so much in this movie that it almost becomes like a little problematic i guess you could say but it's a michael bay you know type movie so you kind of expect him to just use one camera over and over and over because he feels like he has to use the product and get the money money's worth out of it so it's just a movie where it's a it's a typical michael bay movie it's a movie with a lot of problems when it comes to the storytelling and how the characters act you know jake gyllenhaal is just so over the top and so bombastic and so just loud and annoying that i actually started to hate his character and i know he's kind of the the antagonist in this movie but i still want to have some semblance of enjoying the bad guy and that's not where i got with this character i felt like he was just too much to be fairly honest but like i said it is a michael bay movie so you kind of have to look past that a little bit but you know when it comes to like having isa gonzalez who is fine in this movie but she kind of disappears for a few sections in this movie even though they're in the same ambulance and then you have Yaya Abdul-Mateen the second and he just kind of becomes a little bit of a background character but he's still like dealing with his brother and he's driving all the time and being chased by the police it just some of these characters don't feel fleshed out to be fairly honest they just don't feel like they've been worked or caressed or smoothed out to a point where they feel like an interesting character 
But sometimes you don't go to Michael Bay movies to see, of course, characters and dialogue and stuff like that. You see explosions. But then we have like a section where we have Gary Dillahunt come in and he's playing an SIS agent. And then we have like an FBI agent come in. And there's just, there's so many characters in this movie. So many people that pop up that just feel like this movie's overstuffed with characters. And, you know, if they had just stuck with like, you know, the car chase sequences and you know, the ambulance chase sequences and just kind of the overall or overarching nature of a like a, a freeway chase, I guess you could say. I think this movie would have worked better and just kind of sticked with the three main characters. But, you know, once again, you, I, I, I don't know. There's just a lot of characters in this movie that don't need to be in this movie. And it becomes problematic as the movie moves along. But it sounds like I'm being like truly negative, even though I said I really enjoyed this movie because I did enjoy this movie. Like, you know, Michael Bay is such a, such a perfectionist when it comes to his his sound work and his visual work and just the amount of cars that he can you know acquire and how he uses those cars to just make a thrilling car chase sequence and just his overarching nature of just like how he shoots things and how he gets up close with things like i said i was making fun of the drone stuff but there are some really cool stuff with the drones that he does in this movie which I found very effective in a lot of aspects. It really gives you a new angle for what Michael Bay can do as a director. So that's why he's always been a great action director because he can he can really get a good sense of just really cool natures of stuff. Even in the Transformers movies, which get a little wonky, you can get some really cool action shots and that's just what he's known for doing. And now that he's a lower budget and he's working in a much more uh, constricted situation on just, just the LA freeways and stuff like that, it just feels like he's more uh, contained a little bit, even though he's still bombastic in what he does. So that that stuff in this movie was just, it was absolutely riveting to watch. It really was. And then on top of that, you have like the score is really good. And just everything about this look and feel about this movie is really good. It's just the characters are just kind of bland a little bit. So um, overall, just kind of finish out this review. This is a movie that has a lot of fun to it. It has a lot of great action. It is really long, so be prepared to, you know, if you have to use bathroom breaks or whatever. But it's a movie that just still shows that Michael Bay can shoot action and he can shoot it pretty well. He does have fun just with what he's doing. And I feel this is a much marked improvement from, you know, Six Underground or whatever that movie was. So it's worth a watch if you like good bombastic action stuff. But if you don't, if you like character stuff as well, you're not going to like this movie. So anyways, that'll do it. That'll be my take of Ambulance. Thank you so much for watching. Comments below. What's your favorite Michael Bay movie? Are you looking forward to this movie? All that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit the like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.